competition. All right. Yeah. You are up against Spring's team tonight. Did you know that? He's at the Royal Top. Yeah. The box yeah, the box is here. Is that what the line is for? It's not the wrong movie at all. I'm actually going to skip the movie and go see You're the You're going to take on the boss tonight. I, mean, I, I would love to go see the boss tonight. I've seen the film, so why not? Exciting to be invited, so it was a surprise. We were lucky to have the footage, and so it, you know we were able to put it together now. The promise, the making of darkness on the edge of town, uncovers never before seen footage of Springsteen and the E Street Band recording in the late 70s. We ended up with a huge archive of film from when we were uh, you know, 25, 26 years old. And amazingly, I didn't even know it existed. I forgot it even existed. I think the footage sat for 30 years almost. The one and only performance that this phenomenal song you captured on TV. We were just learning to make records, and so the records were long and they were hard, and we didn't really know what we were doing. And we were also trying to build a core philosophy around what our band was going to be and what we wanted to talk about. from when we were uh, you know, 25, 26 years old, and had amazingly, we, I didn't even know it existed, I forgot it even existed, but it had its recording promised land and doing a lot of other things that were like, amazing to see, there was quite a bit of it, so uh, uh, we did something similar for Born to Run, with director Tom Zimney put together a nice film for that, and so it was just part of a package that we wanted to put together uh, come out in a little while, three CDs of music, and there's three films, and this is a documentary. But uh, we were lucky to have the footage, and so, it, you know, we were able to put it together there. And putting it all out there, is there a sense of vulnerability you have? I mean, this was your, yeah, your younger self. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old for vulnerability. <laughs> 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 At the moment, but uh, uh, it was fun. It was fun going back and seeing. The, the process we used then was quite similar to the process we use now, except uh, not anywhere near as painful. <laughs> you know, uh, it was, uh, we were just learning to make records, and so uh, the records were long and they were hard and we didn't really know what we were doing, and we were also trying to build a core philosophy around what our band was going to be and what we wanted to talk about, and, and, and uh, so it was really, it was a very shaping, album and hopefully I think Tom did a nice job in the film capturing all the questions that were up in the air and the stakes that we felt that we were playing for uh, in 1978. So. Thank you for all the fans. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks, it's great Thank to you. be here. Bye -bye. Festival. I want to thank all of you for coming out this evening. It's a very special night for us. I don't have to tell you why. <laughs> we want to thank the people who make this night and the whole festival possible, beginning with our lead sponsor, Bell. Our major sponsors are yeah. Our major sponsors, RBC and Blackberry. And our major public supporters, the Government of Ontario, Telecom Canada, and the City of Toronto. Yeah. Credit Suisse is proud to be a sponsor of the Toronto International Film Festival that are announced tonight and of tonight's screening, and they'd like to extend a special welcome and to thank you to their guests tonight. Thanks also to the many supporters who made generous donations to our annual campaign and our TIFF Bell Lightbox campaign. As a result, we have a building. We've just opened it on Sunday. It's called TIFF Bell Lightbox, and if you haven't seen it, please come and visit. We're at the corner of King and John Streets, and we could not be prouder to welcome you. This film is part of the gala program, generously sponsored by ET Canada on Global. They continue their tradition of championing exceptional talent, and they're a proud supporter of the gala program. The film itself is eligible for the Cadillac People's Choice Award for the most popular film in the festival. Please do not forget to vote. And we also want to thank Thrill Hill Productions for, for providing us with this film. And a big thank you to everyone at Sony Music as well tonight. A reminder to please, Sony Music to the house as well. A reminder, please turn off your cell phones, your Blackberries, anything that might uh, make a noise during the screening out of respect for your neighbors, and also a reminder that 
we do have anti-piracy measures in effect. <laughs> and people don't know what to yell right now. You know, on, uh, on one level, the creative process is a very simple thing. Artists draw on what they know and what they can imagine. Then they choose from the available tools and they express something unique. At our film festival, we're fortunate to see that creative process expressed in interesting ways and new ways hundreds of different times uh, every year. But we've never had an opportunity like this to witness a singular artist at work and to do it in his presence. It's a great honor to welcome Bruce Springsteen to Toronto. Today. with such insight. This film is the work of two key people, the producer John Lando, who has been Bruce's manager and producer since 1975, and director Tom Zimney, who's found a way to capture some of the same alchemy that went into creating a seminal album. Ladies and gentlemen, producer John Lando, director Tom Zimney, and Bruce Brixton.